Perseid Meteor Shower 2022 Perseids is often considered one of the best meteor showers of the year. It's fast approaching. One of the best nights of the year to see meteors, shooting stars, or whatever you call those stunning objects that streak across the night sky burning up as they enter Earth's atmosphere. That's right, it's almost time for the peak Perseids meteor shower. The Perseids, which peak during mid-August, are considered the best meteor shower of the year. With very fast and bright meteors, Perseids frequently leave long wakes of light and color behind them as they streak through Earth's atmosphere. The Perseids are best viewed in the Northern Hemisphere during the pre-dawn hours, though at times it is possible to view meteors from this shower as early as 10 p.m. The Perseid Meteor Shower, also known as the Perseids, is perhaps the most popular meteor shower of the year, visible between July and August. With clear skies, you could see what some consider the most spectacular cosmic light show. The meteor shower is predicted to peak during the pre-dawn hours of August 11th to 13th, with stargazers having the chance to spot up to 60 to 100 meteors per hour. However, because the peak days coincide with the full moon, visibility during the peak times could be limited. The bright sparks of a meteor shower disappear too quickly for most telescope users, but the peak of the shower for Sydney viewers, where there may be up to 100 shooting stars in an hour, will occur around 3 a.m. on August 13th. Though, the 2022 Perseids won't be quite as spectacular as they were in 2021, due to the full moon illuminating the sky. Every year, Earth passes through the path of Comet Swift-Tuttle from July 17th to August 24th, with the shower's peak, when Earth passes through the densest, dustiest area, occurring August 11th to 12th. That means you'll see the most meteors in the shortest amount of time near that time. Years without moonlight see higher rates of meteors per hour, and in outburst years, such as in 2016, the rate can be between 150 to 200 meteors an hour. Last year, the moon was just a thin crescent and didn't obscure the view of the meteor shower too badly, but the moon's glow is a continuing concern for skywatchers looking for a clear view. Even though the Perseids are especially bright, moonlight can make viewing a bit tricky. This year, the peak of the Perseids will be affected by the full moon illuminating the sky. This beloved, annual sky spectacle is caused by the Comet Swift-Tuttle. Comet Swift-Tuttle is the largest object known to repeatedly pass by Earth. Its nucleus is about 16 miles, 26 kilometers, wide. It last passed near Earth during its orbit around the Sun in 1992, and the next time will be in 2126. But it won't be forgotten in the meantime because Earth passes through the dust and debris it leaves behind every year. When you sit back to watch a meteor shower, you're actually seeing the pieces of comet debris heat up as they enter the atmosphere and burn up in a bright burst of light, streaking a vivid path across the sky as they travel at 37 miles, 59 kilometers, per second. You can see the Perseid meteor shower best in the northern hemisphere and down to the mid-southern latitudes, and all you need to catch the show is darkness, somewhere comfortable to sit and a bit of patience. To find the Perseid meteor shower, it's a good idea to look for the point in the sky where they appear to originate from. This is known as the radiant. According to NASA, the Perseid's radiant is in the Perseus constellation. Though Perseus isn't the easiest to find, it conveniently follows the brighter and more distinctive constellation Cassiopeia across the night sky. The meteor shower gets its name from the constellation it radiates from, the constellation is not the source of the meteors. To best see the Perseids, go to the darkest possible location and lean back and relax. You don't need any telescopes or binoculars as the secret is to take in as much sky as possible and allow about 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust to the dark. If you want more advice on how to photograph the Perseid meteor shower, check out our How to Photograph Meteors and Meteor Showers guide and if you need imaging gear, 
Consider our best cameras for astrophotography and best lenses for astrophotography. If you like the video please share the same with astronomy lovers. Also consider subscribing to our channel, Secrets of Space, for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.